Hello, welcome to Black and White. Uh, last time I discussed, uh, I was talking about religious affiliations, and there was an article recently, um, I actually have it right here, uh, that in nine different nations, uh, someone did some mathematical analysis in Australia, Austria, Canada, Czech Republic, Finland, Ireland, Netherlands, New Zealand, Switzerland. Uh, religion will dial completely in, I don't know how long they said, but, uh, the idea was, it's kind of interesting, and the reason I think it's interesting is that it's basically that other social groups are becoming more prominent. Probably more people spend uh, time on Facebook and tending to Farmville than they do uh, in active participation and discussion about religion, which, it, I mean, it's okay with me. Uh, I think as society evolves, I think you've seen that, you know, we've seen that happen. I mean, there's a lot of religions that are very old, but a lot of religions do change. Um, you know, people who don't think they change, uh, you just have to ask yourself why there's Mormons, Methodists, um, Baptists, you know, I mean, look at Christianity, and look at all the tiny little groups and all the tiny little, you know, affiliations, um, and you're going to see there's differences. Some go back hundreds of years. And I'm sure there's new groups popping up now. Um, there's one group, um, I won't even bring them into it, but anyway, there's uh, multiple groups. And part of the question I had is, is this such a bad thing? Um, you know, a lot of people identify themselves and they place labels on each other. Uh, you know, they, they define themselves as being a Protestant, as being a Muslim, as being uh, Jewish. You know, but is that really, I mean, do, are they really, you know, do they really follow those beliefs or do they grow up like that, get a label attached to them, maybe show up at a service once a year and call it themselves religious? You know, so maybe we are moving away as societies, we're moving away from that and we're finding these other social networks. And those social networks, if they can provide the same type of structure um, where there's some kind of accountability, there's some kind of discussion about ethics and, and morals and norms. Is it that bad? You know, I mean, I don't think it is. I'm sure everyone else has an opinion. I'm sure anyone who makes money off religion has an issue. But even for the idea of war, I mean, I you know, nowadays we see people, I mean, if you Conservatives versus liberals, whatever that means, right? Uh, I mean, that's just the silliest terms I've ever heard. <laughs> because if you think about it, someone who actually, the idea of being liberal is you're open to change, I think. Um, you're not opposed to change, but, you know, that, I mean, no one's saying that you're a lunatic and you want to run off and do weird, crazy things. I mean, but that's what they're saying now. I mean, that's what their the connotations are. Just like with conservatives, it's that a conservative may want to not change so fast, but they're still willing to change, um, you know, as situations arise. And I think that's why they tend to get labeled as hypocrites more often, because they, they are unwilling to discuss or unwilling or, or won't quickly change. But because they are willing to change with situations, as it suits them, then, uh, and that might have been a little biased, but, um, so, but really, I mean, conservatives are not, for the most part, people who adamantly oppose all change. You know, it's not being conserving things the way they are. Even though that might be like a mantra, and, and maybe that's the image that's portrayed, but we all know that's not really how it is. And so we put these labels, just like, you know, you call yourself a Christian and you show up at church on Easter or Christmas or whatever. Does that really make you a Christian? And, um, and we seem to be getting into fights more often now. There's a lot of distrust between religions and between political groups. And, and for what? It, it's, it's more about this infighting between labels and the preconceived ideas about those labels than it is about people. And uh, it's strange and I don't get it. Uh, I mean, I get it, I understand, you know, it's much easier to hate a label than it is an actual human being. And it's much easier to know, to think you know what 
is going on than it is to actually find out. Um, so, so is religion changing? Um, can we develop something new and maybe get away from the label and not call it religion? Um, can we develop a society that that believes in good qualities and doesn't adhere to whether it's atheism or anything else uh, as a religion? Uh, it's an interesting idea. Um, again, I'm just throwing out questions, uh, trying to generate some discussion, and let's see what happens. Thank you.